another part of application analysis. And this is actually the task to expand a column from a specific size to another one. So for example, we have one client that had an article ID. They were running out of uh, numbers. It's just the heavily used uh, article ID is the heavily used column in the whole application and they wanted to increase it from number 8 to number 12. Actually it was two clients with a very similar task. One is Monday Business Paper. It's actually the biggest uh, paper producer in Europe and uh, they have a forms application of 800 forms and over 2,000 PLSQL packages, functions and procedures on two database instances. They needed to extend two fields and their manual estimate was actually 300 man days to fulfill this task because they know they have to go through all these objects in here. Actually, we accomplished the whole thing with PITSCON in two days and we could go live after that. So it was a return of invest or, or a saving actually of 298 man days. So we reduced it from almost one and a half man years to just two man days. Another example is Sony Music. They have an application of 2,800 forms, over 10,000 database objects, and they wanted to extend one column, their article ID, from number 8 to number 12. What they actually did, they wanted to have one guy sitting there for 60 man days just for the estimations. So they thought he will analyze 60 man days to figure out what the actual effort will be to calculate the budget. With our tool PITSCON, it took us one day to analyze and do the estimation and actually then 10 man days to fulfill the task, to change everything and do it. So you see here it's a huge um, uh, thing of saving. They didn't even estimate uh, what the actual work w would be because we have been so fast with PITSCON. When we go in here, it's a short example about what the problematic about extending a column can be. So we want to extend here our column article ID on the table art ID. Then I have an item that it's actually um, based on that column with a maximum length 8. And then I have a variable that's number 8 with a direct assignment and I have another item um, with also the maximum length 8. So I have to change this item, this item, and here I have to change also this variable because the data is flowing through this application. Also in this direction, I maybe have here another variable that actually is based on a different uh, column, on a different uh, table. And so I also have to take care about this table and I also have to take care then about these. And I left this part here open because it can be endless. So it can be, uh, you never know how deep actually the tree uh, will be. Uh, now it's a good time to show you how we solve this issue with PITSCON. In the PITSCON repository, we actually have everything loaded. All objects of your forms application we do have loaded. So you can see we have the forms modules, we have the PLSQL libraries, the menus, the object libraries, reports and all database objects. For our starting point, I selected a table called RMS subtitle levels and a column called IDN subtitles uh, LVL and it's from the type number with the length 8. So this is the one we actually want to increase to number 12. So with PITSCON we do have some uh, options on uh, settings to extend uh, a column. This is the general option you do so the calculation uh, is made right. So we have our source object. This is actually our starting point and our starting point has the data and the data is passed then to the variables or whatever it is. So when I press run task, it actually then calculates a com complete this complete flow I showed you before on our uh, PowerPoint slide. So I have here my table starting, then I have here two items that are actually based on my table. I have a few that is there. I have the variables that actually are a type of these uh, column. Uh, I have here a, a argument, so a parameter from a a procedure or a function that gets the data by the select statement and this is then passed to the 
to a variable and so on. So PITSCON actually calculates the complete tree. Now to do actually the synchronization what I actually need to change I have here the option to say synchronize um, and please PITSCON will uh, calculate which objects need to be changed when I change it from the length 8 to the length 12. So with run task, PITSCON actually calculates this. And what I do have is here my starting table, and then it shows me all affected objects. So I have here some columns that are affected. They are all in a, um, a view, so that means they are changed automatically. When we take a look at the legend real quick, we have the red objects that I need to change. The blues, blue objects change automatically. The yellow app objects are based on a different uh, object so you have to check it manually and the greens one means they are okay. So this is our view that is okay that is based on it and then I have here some variables that are a type of. I have some stuff that's big enough already. I have one that I need to check. Pitscon tells me exactly the um, program unit where I in in there I can right click view or edit the code to go in there to check it manually and then I have the forms items and the forms items means I have to adjust them because the maximum length is 4 and I have to increase them to 12 or here in this case 9 and I have to increase them to 12. Actually this item was already before too small. So you can also make a plausibility check with PITSCON to see if everything actually fits already if you put in this screen new length 8 and then it will calculate if everything is already okay. So it helps you also to clean up your application, make sure that it, everything is okay and right.